This to me was more of a like, hey man, we're normal people like you guys are. I'm not f***ed up. I'm drunk. And then when I'm done with that, I put Vaseline actually around the edges. <laughs> 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 Dude, that, that's literally one of my favorite parts of the intro. Right? Uh, hey like- everybody, <laughs> welcome to another episode of Tob's Daily Grind. This is episode 127. We're here with Jason Bourne. How you all doing? How you all doing? What's up, Jason? What's up, guys? Thanks. Jason from Straight Edge Nice. How y'all doing? Oh, shit. You're not Jason Bourne? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Whose fault was this? Who was this you? I think it was according to John. I'm just you, John? according to bo- John. I'm just uh, why off. Am I off? So. You're not off? I can't. I can barely hear myself. Oh, this because Craig fucking likes it really quiet. How about now? Can you hear us now? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Is that too loud? A little bit too sorry, loud. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm yelling. Yeah. Anyway, so, well, welcome, Jason. It was Cool, finally getting to meet Bruce you. Oh, too. Shit. Well, nah, yeah. fuck Bruce. <laughs> old dirty Bruce, the old DB. <laughs> that, that, Bruce? That's it, dude. That's the old me DB. Me and Bruce right have there. been fighting. Old all, dirty Bruce. Yeah, yeah, me and Bruce have been fighting all all, all the way here. The whole trip. Yep. It's fun. Yeah. Like so, how, for everybody that doesn't know, we're at Shot Show. It's the first night. It's of the first Shot night of Shot Show. Um, it's Tuesday. Tuesday night. So yeah, first night of Shot Show. What? No. No, okay. but he's... Oh, no, Dylan just... Oh, okay. Let's start over because Dylan just fucked it up. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You, you can be in the background, like, doing sign language. Yeah, you can be you in the background. You guys can do your, like... Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. I know that one. That's that a good one. Be, yeah, it's a good yeah. one. One of my favorites. Yeah. Anyway. So, sorry. So, yeah, we're uh, doing... I'm going to tell you guys. Shot show. Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, so we're at Shot Show first night. Um, so, guys... Jesus, how, how, when was the last time you were here? Um, 2018 or 2019, maybe? No, 2018, I think. One of those years. It's when uh, Jose and Angali and Benny came. I'm not Rigo. sure what year it was. No, it was Galdi. Oh, Galdi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they did. He did come out. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's, been, a, it's been a while. But yeah. I went to Blade West, so. Yeah, you went to Blade West, but yeah. Shot Show. You know, Shot Show, this is a, the third one. It's a different cat, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, yeah. You're, it feels like you're standing longer. You're tired and, before but, you even start. Yeah. <laughs> but it's cool, especially where we, the the booth that we're in, there's a lot of room. Yeah, there's a lot of space. So it's there nice. Is. You're not, I, like, I don't, at Blade West, I felt like I was in everybody's way. Like, there was like there was no room to you. You try to take a picture and it's it's weird because it's so, it's so cramped, yeah. so tight. Yep. And then there they won't give us a bigger booth. We try to get a bigger booth and we we can't. Yeah, and here no, it's yeah. nice. And and then it's at the corner, so there's no booths next to us. Or yeah. you you could literally have a gymnast, gymnastics routine in front of the booth. Like you're out there with John doing the whole runway with the light thing. And, yeah, and Travis too. Yeah, Travis. There's, yeah, there's yeah. so much room in front of that. But yeah, you guys don't know Travis. You guys will meet him here pretty soon. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll probably have him on just for a little bit. Us. We'll have everybody on for a little yeah. bit. We can ask him what their favorite thing is or whatever. So and Bruce, Bruce, you're quiet. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, you that you need another on. shot, Bruce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so this is this is just Bruce's kidding. first time at shot. The whole the whole experience, not yeah. just not yeah, just not arriving just at the at the, at yeah. the yep. booth. Yeah, the last time that I was at shot with you guys was twenty twenty, and it that was right before all the COVID shit. And uh, they were doing. Do you guys remember the little challenge coins that they were doing? That somebody had like the shot show crud, and you had to go because everybody always gets sick at shot show. Yeah, and then you had to go to their booth to get the cure, and it was a different. It was like just two casino challenge coins, like two chips. Oh, I did. You I remember do that. Remember, but yeah. Uh, I don't think any of us got the the chips, but I think all of us got sick that year. That's one. That's one. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, Jose right. got. He had influenza, didn't he? Yeah, he, he tested positive he for got, influenza. Yep, yep. Yeah, we got we got sick at my house too, and I didn't like I didn't come to show. But since everybody that got back after that, like a week later, it was, prob- it yeah, was probably. Yeah, even 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 I did. I know when I got back, I did. Um. But yeah, but you got pretty like way sicker than you usually do, huh? Yeah, oh yeah, it was bad. And that's when you know, I don't know if it was COVID, but you know what? I think I think that. It, was. Yeah, it probably was. We didn't know what it was back then, but yep. See, I prepare for that. 
the whole previous week I've been taking vitamin C pills every day. Oh, we do too. <laughs> yeah, we do that. <laughs> we all do. Time. We do all that. We do all that. <laughs> Trying and, to fight you that. Know, even we we start meetings probably a month prior to, to coming, and we that's the first thing we say. Yeah, fucking get healthy and, and drink a lot of vitamins. Because yeah, and try to get a good night's sleep. <laughs> that's non-existent here. Nah, it's <laughs> yeah, you not try, much. but you know, it's, it's yeah. tough. Yeah, it is. I, I, how do you think it compared to last year? Um, I think a bit. I think a bit slower than last year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's slower Craig, than any of the years I've been there. Yeah, when when Craig comes on, he you know ask him the same question, but I think I think it's been a little slower. Personally, and then you know we've been busy going to meetings and stuff like that. But do you think there's a lot of um, exhibitors that realize that they didn't have to be here, like that they didn't have to be at shot, that they could get the same amount of stuff done without having to show up to shot show, or get the same amount? I don't of think it's that. I think what it is, if you're not a shot, you 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 pretty much dropping out of the game. You have to be here. Like for us, like like just to to. The reason I'm saying that, like for us, we don't need to be here. We're so busy. We have so much work. But once you stop doing that, I feel it's downhill. That you're, you're, you're going. You're going to go uh, downhill. That's how I feel. Even Blade. Blade's another one of those. If you're not a Blade, because you know, if you miss out, then it's kind of hard to get good spaces. And correct. All that, you 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 know spacing is is one 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 thing. But you know we've always said it with Craig. You you uh, people forget about you. People forget about you and and the big players. You know, when you got the big buyers here and you're not here, that, you know, yeah, that, that's, that's a big thing. So it feels so like that's you're slacking. Why, yeah. Yeah. And so that's why, that's why, you know, <clears throat> going back to it, I don't, I don't think we need to be here because we're so busy. We have so much work. It'll catch but up to us. Absolutely. It will catch up to you. Yeah, in a few years. Because maybe. new dealers that we pick up here, even if it's one or two, mm -hmm. we wouldn't pick those up. And they can be the biggest dealer that we've ever had. You don't know that, you yeah. Know? But that—that's, I guess, my personal feeling. Hey, from from my you, from my point of view, last year was my first year at Shot Show, and yeah. last year was a little different because we were just kind of coming out of COVID. They still had a lot of restrictions and stuff, so there was a lot of companies that didn't show up last year. Oh, that's so true. as we drank a lot of fucking coffee last year, yeah, and, but um, and water, yeah, yeah, because we didn't have to wear a mask if you had something in your hand. Oh, okay. yeah. But I mean, I, w I was walking the whole show and going to different vendors and I was able, for me, it seems like it's busier this year because I was able to walk up to almost anybody and not have anybody in the way or anything like that. But now there's me walking around today trying to do stuff like there was, to me, it seemed like there was a lot more people, but then yeah. also a lot of the, a lot of the bigger gun companies at least were back. So, I mean, a lot of people. It seemed like there was a little bit more people than last year to me as a as a visitor, yeah. not like because obviously I was in your guys' booth all day. And maybe yeah. and maybe uh, <clears throat> you know we're missing all those freebie people, people that are there for freebies, and that's all they want. They want something, either fucking patches or stickers or shirts or hats or whatever you're giving away. You know, I said I guess 2020 and back, you had a fuck lot of people like that. Yeah. Besides John. Um, sorry, John. Besides, <laughs> besides John, like at these shows where it's vendors and stuff, are there a lot of freebie people? There, there still? is, there is, because a lot of people can get in with the big companies uh -huh. that come to you know to to support the big companies. But um, we can't talk about. No, John's. Oh, John, over no, I thought Craig was doing something. Making faces at me. Yeah, but uh, you know, and so they'll come in because they know somebody at the at the company. Oh, okay. And they'll get these these day passes or these these you know show passes you know as as uh, invite in like invite only or like what? spouse passes. No, 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 no. Like visitor? A, like a visitor, like or? a company invite or something like that. Oh. I, that yeah, Craig knows all these fucking companies things. plus one. But but it's it's like is it's like they're they were I don't know if you still get them this time. But there were badges that you could get for people just to come and visit you. Oh, okay. You know, and so you you would give these 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 badges so you can come and visit. You know, just hang out you could for do a bit. so many, <clears throat> but I think a lot of uh, there was a lot of that. Huh. Yeah. How, well, they're doing the numbers, but I wonder how, biz, like <clears throat> business wise, how it compared. They well, 
there there's a lot of there's different things I guess because you can go off how many dealers did we pick up today or how many like sample sales did we do today oh okay you know and sample sales like you know it was better than last year but dealers don't know oh okay you know, so for me sample sales is not important I guess well, I don't want to say it that way, but... It's not as important. No, exactly. Okay. Not as important as picking up new dealer because it's recurring business, you know? Yeah. So. No, that is true. I don't know. Like, I've been enjoying it. Like, it, no, it's, it's been fun. And I always enjoy it even though it kicks your ass. It does. You know, two weeks from now, you're like, wise. That was That was badass. Yeah, feet-wise, holy shit. Yeah. No, you do. You do. You, you feel it. Your body, you're just you're tired, and, and you're beat. You're beat yeah. to shit. You know. Yeah, it's so tiring that sometimes you forget to eat. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Chad go. Chad forgot to eat. I think he went to bed already. Mm, he's not outside. Is Chad outside? Oh shit! Maybe you guys should look in the pool. Got a man down. Make sure he doesn't. Man. He didn't fall in the pool. Don't we need to be in the podcast if he's in it? Yeah. <laughs> we just want him on the podcast for a little bit. I just want to ask him why he, why he forgot to eat. If you can. Because he's a dedicated employee. He yes. was not going to take a break. I won't even have to give him a mic. He'll answer the question. I'll just have him stand here. You'll, okay. you'll see. I'll translate for him. When is this one coming out? This one, probably Tuesday. Tuesday. I don't think I can get it. Oh, me. next Tuesday? Oh, okay. Yeah, so we'll, we'll be back. Yeah. Hey, Chad, stand right there. Or or get on your knee. No, yeah, you can stand. <laughs> you can stand. <laughs> Why'd you forget to eat? You told us you forgot. Were you sleeping already? Uh, talking to your girlfriend? Did you get some dice? You roll some dice? No. <laughs> I thought you got some dice. Okay, thank you, Chad. That was great. Uh, great conversation, Chad. Chad's the best. He There's says nobody so like much Chad. With so little. Yeah, he's very efficient with his words. <laughs> There's just, nobody like Just him what you need great. to know, he's going to tell you. Yeah. That's it. He did a good job at the show, though. Yeah. He did. He did. He was tied. Yeah. Believe it or not, he was talking yeah. people's ears off. Yeah, no, he did a good job. I, I overheard a few of them, and yeah, he did, I, I think he did a good job. Nice, nice. But what so, do I know? Some might say he's the <laughs> silent hero of the company. Silent. <laughs> boo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a boo button. I need a boo button. Yeah, something. Yeah. <laughs> just, so, yeah. Hit, just hit the fuck you, Craig button. That's, that's That'll work. Yeah. <laughs> if you want your dick jerk to take on? I haven't heard that one in a long time. Oh shit! That's oh, that's a good one, one too. And if you want your dick, oh, that's, not it. that's a good one too. Fuck you, Craig. <laughs> oh, yes. You know, it's been a while since you guys hit that button. It is. That yeah, is true. I try not to hit buttons anymore because Craig gets mad. But you know what? Fuck when, you, Craig. When, that's right. <laughs> He's not on right when now. When Craig so. gets on here, oh uh, yeah, <laughs> show want, me which button. I'm it is. It's the green one. Okay. Just every time he says something, hit that button. Yeah, the green ones <laughs> is that. Fuck you, Craig. And then I like yep. the, the blue ones. Yep, it's Leo saying yep. Yep. And then crickets, which I, I don't oh, like. Damn. Yeah. And if you want your dick jerked, just let me know. Yep. Yeah, that's a good yep. one. <laughs> those are those are the best. Those yeah. are, that's all you need. Is you know how long I've been trying to change those, but then I, I then I'm like, I don't. We don't really use them. So. You know. guys did quite a bit in the beginning. We did yeah, because we're that, those you know. those were fillers. <laughs> we were just fucking around, man. Yeah. 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 They did kind of slowly taper Cause, down. Because we ordered this, and Leo goes, hey, look, the podcast equipment. Can and I just started playing with it. Yeah. I, was, like, I wasn't even planning on being on this thing. Yeah, you were. No. Yeah, you no, were. he wasn't. No, I, I don't like I thought you were planning on being the star. No, fuck no. I don't even like talking, man. <laughs> you could have No, his, this is good. His, no. This is good at no, talking. I, and so we play, you know how we play <laughs> poker during, so during breaks we play, we play um, four funsies poker. Yep. No, we don't bet or anything. Um, and it came in during one of the breaks, and we brought it out there, and we just started bullshitting. and Playing poker and bullshitting. Yeah. And then it was fun. I don't That's think that podcast ever came out. Huh? No. Because we, I don't know, I think Craig was, was planning to do, like, knife talk, and but I don't know. And it just went. It went to anyway. shit. But <laughs> <laughs> it went to shit. But it, good shit. Yeah, no, it's I think good. it's good. I have fun. But yeah, the the plan I never plan on being. On it. I just plan helping out edit if they have to, but that's about it. But here you are, at the but start of the are. show. No, hey, I'm, Greg. I'm not the start of the show. I'm just helping the start Ready? of the show. I'm like there. Want to take over? Nice. 
So you that's can, a good sign because that means yeah, Dylan, there yeah. was a lot you need to do stuff. of stuff done today. Yeah, no, there was a lot. And there's still like even, you know, we're running this podcast and I'm, my brain just going like, fuck, what I still have to do? Yeah. Like, that's one of the hard things the, about doing this kind of stuff yeah. that, um, which is, it helps when you have, you have more than one yeah. person. Because yeah, yeah. for example, it was just me and you and we're just boun- like bouncing stuff back and forth. If I hit one of those like, just brain farts where nothing comes to my mind. It feels like for it, like it feels like an eternity. Yeah, even though like trying to come back from it too. Yeah, even though when you watch it back, sometimes you don't even notice. But I've I've had stuff where I start a sentence and I forget what I'm gonna say, and so I just make shit up, and then I listen back to it and I can't tell when that happened. But during the podcast, it feels like crap. Oh, I can tell when I listen to it. Shut the fuck it. up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you really? No, oh, no. I'm just hey, Dylan. <clears throat> Jump but yeah, up. no, it, it's, it, it's, it's been fun. The uh, the online engagement was pretty cool today about the prototypes. Right, Travis, when I, when I Jump on. You were posting on Instagram. Introduce, and I hey, who's going to introduce you to oh, all, the, all, yeah. all our listeners? Yeah. Bombing oh. with like real hard questions. Yeah, no, yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, so all right, everybody, I really appreciate get, it. We're, we're gonna, gonna get Travis here try real to quick do and the books and get everything. Oh, sorry, it's loose. I'm sorry, <laughs> he didn't get out fast enough. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> he's kicking just, me out. Go ahead. <laughs> all right, well, yeah, he's got to do the books. I'm gonna and do the he's books. He's so. good. Thank you. Run everybody. a business. <laughs> yeah, you know. Okay, Travis. Ladies and gentlemen, weighing in at 283 pounds. Nope. <laughs> from Death Valley. No, I don't know where you're from. But from Idaho Falls, yeah. Idaho. Yes. This one's probably better. Travis. I've been wanting to call you Tyler all day. I don't know why. That's right. weird. There you go. Man. Anyway, this is this is Travis. This is his first show. How long have you been with us, Travis? Uh, August 31st. So half a year. Yep. About. About. Getting close. What do you think? I'm loving it. Yeah, it's been fun, huh? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Do you keep your socks on? Most of the time. Yeah. There's a rule that... Yeah, when I jump in the pool? We can, we yeah. Yeah I, yeah, I left them on. Yeah, if you want to move your mic up a little bit. There you yeah. go. Okay. A little bit closer. Was it... when? Put, when, put it in your mouth. <laughs> it's just the tip. No. Put it in your mouth. Nope. When you, when you got to the show this... <laughs> when you got to the show this morning, did you, like... Were you a little nervous or not at all? Oh, yeah. Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, just, like really anxious just for it, you know, to start. Just to start. Yeah. But as the day goes on, you kind of get more relaxed, huh? Cause, oh, yeah. Because there's nothing, oh, yeah. there's no question that, like, you can't ask one of us. Well, like, I, you know, I've always kind of had the concept of you know, your customer teaches you the most. Yeah. And I feel like just the people that w- that came to the show um, taught me more than I've, you know, yeah. I've learned since I've been with the company. So, yeah, it's been, it's it was an awesome day. It's cool. Like a lot of people that know us, they they know so much about our stuff that sometimes even oh, yeah. we forget. Like, oh yeah, it's it's amazing how how big the fan base is. You know, it's uh, it's uh, it's way cool. It's something I've never been a part of before, and it's it's really cool. Did it surprise you? Oh yeah, because you oh yeah, like like when all of a sudden you know I, I I go lay down in bed and I'm scrolling through my phone and I see all these lives and I didn't even know that we were live. I didn't know yeah. things were rolling like that. So it was. You know, it was surprising how big this, the social media presence is. Um, you know, being in the manufacturer side, <clears throat> don't get to experience a lot of the finished product. Yeah. So, you know, coming over there and, and you know, some of our show meetings that we're, we're prepping for the show. And I learned a lot from that and, and uh, putting my hands on the actual knives. And then today, just seeing everything, you know, the mother load of everything in front of you. Um, it's, you know, even the people that are there, it's like, this is the time of year, you know, I get to do this yeah. and it's just, it makes you feel, you know, it, like it's, just, it, it's awesome. It's cool because you're used to seeing the beginning process. Right. Cause, right. W- cause when you see it, they're still cutting the slabs and oh, yeah. the, through the CNC's and, yep. and you're doing the handles and stuff yep. like that. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and then like, for example, the guys at the shop, they see the middle process, but rarely does anybody see the whole process oh. because they, they don't get to go to the shows and see the the end result which is the clients right and right. so it, you'll I, at it, least the people that have gotten to see it all get a new appreciation for the whole picture oh yeah and it's cool oh yeah it it opened my eyes you know to how 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 uh 
I'm, I'm privileged to work for this company. Yeah, it's you know, awesome. it's it's a blessing. Yeah, and like and like you haven't been to the shops yet, right? No, that's uh, one of my future plans. Yeah, and is then, to come to the shop and see the whole process. And then you get, you'll get to see the whole picture too, because you you haven't really gotten to see that part of things. Yeah, I have seen the just like oh, videos and stuff. Oh but. shit! Response that customers have that you saw today. Right, you know, the people come in. Oh yeah. Oh shit! Look at this. I've had that with people that I work with that I've gotten knives for, where like they're like, "Hey, you should get this," and they get it, and the first time they hold it, they're like, "Oh, okay, I get it now." Oh shit! This right. is this is badass. This is right. You know. <laughs> you know. So it's kind of cool. Like, like, say you got to experience that to the, seeing that the customer response. Right, like, and there was there was I could I could tell you a handful of times that I, that I experienced that today. You know, people are seeing that, oh, you got the El Chapa here, or do you have the El Chede, and, you know, and they get to hold it and, and feel it, and then they get to try everything else that they've seen online, and, and you know, it's it's different. It's a different experience when you actually hands-on with it, you know, even, you know, at the manufacturing side of it, you know, I get to see it when it comes to us to sandblast it after we've heat treated it, uh, you know, roll in the oven, uh, powder coating, uh, doing the handles, gluing the boards together. I mean, seeing that process... And going through that and then coming to a show for the first time with the company is just, it's its eye-opening. It just, it's its huge. Yeah. It's huge. And then you see just the amount of people. <laughs> it's just insane. Yeah, it is. The followers, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. And then you get all you get all sorts of levels and in, in how excited people get, but... Yeah, yeah. For the most part, it, it's, it's cool talking you to know, them. You know, and, and there was a couple of times where... Uh, you know, I talked to people that hadn't, didn't even know who we were, yeah. you know, so kind of being the introduction to that was, you know, I was like, how do you, how do you do that? You know, it was kind of overwhelming at times, but, you know, having the guys, you know, right there, you know, arm, arm length away, I could just grab somebody, yeah. you know, if I didn't know something, so. Yeah, like, like this show, one of the things I learned that I thought was cool was, for example, getting to meet Jason. Like, we've interacted a little, like, I don't really interact that much on this uh, you've noticed but <laughs> yeah. i don't really interact that much but well, we private messaged a few times yeah so little things you know so. but it feels like i know you. it's weird yeah because like when we do lives you're on there <laughs> i'm always like, on there and saying stupid shit but it like it <laughs> it didn't feel like oh hi this is this is jason and like it feels like we already know you yeah and it's it's that's jason weird to told me. me tonight that we he thinks that we're related yeah, really? yeah. i swear to god i felt he like did. this dude's related to me <laughs> Like we both have the same, <laughs> same bad knees, same bad back. And, <laughs> no, <sure laughs> and this is the first the time I met Travis. I'm the oldest. He's, yeah, he's never been on uh, any of the podcast or no, no, anything no. like that. And it's like, yeah, this yeah, was immediately, like, like, right immediately, away, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 Where were you born, Travis? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Idaho Falls. Yeah, I grew up, born and raised. You ever been there? Yeah. Nope. Never. Nope. Nope. And you're not. Really Did your mom travel there. about <laughs> nine months prior <laughs> to? Um, Bog, Bruce. No. <laughs> My mom's a good kidding. woman. I know. I'm just kidding. I know. I know. Well, it's the first time meeting Bruce too, and I'm like, even though I've only really heard him on the podcast, we never messaged each other or nothing like that. But like right away, I'm like, hey, yeah. Bruce. Well, you? I didn't know any of these I guys. Mean, yeah. Yeah. You know if, I mean? if Bruce like, shows up to the show tomorrow, like Batman without the mask, it, it didn't go so good <laughs> outside of the, you know, outside oh, of the podcast. Is that, that's that. <laughs> yeah, because he wears the, the black makeup. Yeah. I gotta say, that's a good thing about this Way podcast. Way over the top, I guess. Jeez. That's the good thing about this podcast is you guys, for the consumer base or customers or fans of Tops, like we get to see you guys in a natural environment. And it does actually, in a weird sort of way, even though I, if I'd never met you guys, I'd feel like I knew you guys. You right. know what I mean? So it, yeah. it's kind of weird, but at the same time, it's cool too because yeah. then we get, as a consumer, we get to see hey, man, these are just regular dudes that are doing a damn good job making oh, out a you, damn man. good product, you know what I mean? And and as a consumer, like, I appreciate that, you know yeah. what I mean? and we try to be, like, how we are on the podcast, we try to be like that, obviously more respectful to people that we don't know. We're not going to, like, just start swearing, but it's it's cool when you haven't met us and then you meet us outside. It's the, it's the same thing as on here. We're just bullshitting no matter where giving each other shit and that's yeah. one. Yeah, that's my default status is giving people shit. I know, but I've been a victim of that yeah. a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Bruce is that's an equal good. opportunity. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 
I, I do it because I'm uncomfortable with silence and my own thoughts. And so if I can make you uncomfortable with silence and my presence, then we're in the same boat. And then I feel like a kinship with you, you know? Yep. Makes sense. That's that exactly is? what happened. That's exactly what it <laughs> that's is. That's exactly what happened today. <laughs> and that's why they said it was the longest ride ever over yep, here, huh? It was. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Yeah, man. I learned so much from Bruce on the way here. I almost learned how to code. Yeah. Yep. I don't know how to code. No, I'm just kidding. I do. Uh, I know how. To, I know like some, but uh, you know, but it's my job. I so I know specific languages. But um, we were talking about Python and, gosh, our our conversation on the way down here was crazy. Uh, we it went Python, all over the machine place. learning, urban. It was like a long ass podcast. Yeah, it it really was. We should just record. We should have just here. recorded that on the way down here. It'd have been great, and we don't have to do anything for the next year. We had <laughs> conspiracy theories. I mean, it was it was. Yeah, we had some good ones. Great. Wow. Yeah. I was in the other van. Yeah, yep. the yep. silent van. Well, mm-hmm. you you guys moved over there. Over where? To the other van. Remember, because you guys were in the. Because you didn't want John to be alone. You with guys Chad. were in the main <laughs> party van. We that were, is true. We were afraid of what was going to happen if it was just John and Chad. Why? We were afraid Chad was going to be too quiet and John was going to fall asleep. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the reason why Dylan and and Travis went to the other van. I'm actually kind of scared. Oh shit! Of. How many terms Bruce knows from the Urban Dictionary? He knows. I've read it end to end. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So because he he brought up one today, and I looked it up, and it was quite entertaining. Yeah. But <laughs> the thing with Bruce is that you ever heard of a he, dirty pelican? He codes for. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, folks. Look it up. Oh, yeah. Urban Dictionary, dirty yeah. pelican. Uh, he codes yeah. for an hour and then looks up terms for the next <laughs> seven or eight hours. Yeah. Well, ADHD is a, is quite the mistress. Um, just make sure if you look up Dirty Pelican, go incognito mode. Yeah. There's probably an urban, that. urban meaning to ADHD. There might be, ADHD. yeah. I, I I wouldn't know it if, if there was one. We could look. Maybe. We could we could make Should it we? up right now. Should we look it up right now? Do oh, it. not look it oh, up. Okay. Do right. it. Oh, we make could, one up. Make I, one up. And then we need to make one. No, I'm not good at that. Damn it, Bruce. You, could be you know a, who's good at that? You should get at remembering what they are. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> By the end of the podcast, we'll have something for you. Think ADHD. about it, Bruce. You could be a published author in the Urban Dictionary if you come up with a... a yeah. Concept. I actually think I already am, but I published it under Anonymous. Um, <laughs> Smart. We... <laughs> well, what is it? I don't... I don't... It will no longer be enough. I don't remember. Um, it was something we thought up during lunch one day that, that we all kind of had similar experiences, and uh, and so we put it on there. I... I, I, for my life right now, I can't remember what it was. Uh, I if I, if I remember, I'll tell you. Like but. the goat cheese surprise? It could have been, yeah. <laughs> this sounds like it's something that he's going to tell us off, warm. off air because he'll get in trouble. Um, okay. Or you'll Simmered get banned out. from YouTube. Yeah, I yeah. Think that's what it sounded like to me. I'm trying yeah. to translate. I, definitely, I don't want you to get banned from YouTube, so. No. You yeah. don't want that. Uh, it's important. I don't want to lose our, remain our, our six followers. What, what were the words that you said I couldn't say? Um, that would no, just banned from YouTube. No, I can't. There was like, "Hey, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can't hear you." It was, <laughs> you said pretty loud. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> yeah, you just said in the mic too. That is true. Uh, I'll cut it out. Oh, and because because yeah, you were shooting that Instagram Oops. reel, <laughs> right? And I said uh, I said the bad word, and uh, yeah. and you had to throw the whole thing away, which was oh goodness. Which yeah, is sad for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was the bad word? Uh, uh, can you can no. you bleep it out? <laughs> we'll, no. we'll say all these words right after we stop this because I don't want to edit. This is a lot of work. <laughs> Every time you guys say something fucked up, I have to. Yeah, to go through. I have to go through and cut four four lines of audio because you, you each have a mic and then the fucking video and one night align it. So, so yeah, don't make extra. Well, it gives you something to do on Monday. Well, I got a lot to do on Monday. You do a lot. Actually, I was sitting there talking to you, watching you edit all those photos that you put, yeah. posted up, and you were really quick with it. You were oh, like, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, you were like doing little dot things on that. It's like, what are you doing? Like erasing speckles and shit. It was like, that's yeah. pretty impressive. I wish I was that good at like. <laughs> I just a little bit of practice. Then you like it. It, it jumps out at you, and you're like, I'll just take your, these off. It, I, I, wouldn't even, I would have never even noticed like. The little things you were taking off the picture of that woodcraft. But you do. It's weird. It's it's like, it's things that you don't notice because you weren't like you weren't looking for them. But but yeah. if I don't take them off, they're noticeable. And it, like there's 
there's like a little aesthetic to the stuff we do that you don't realize why it's there, but you know, you know that it's different than other stuff. But you don't know why, and that's what we try to do. It's magic. Well, it's not magic. magic. It really it's is practice. <laughs> but yeah, we like it requires a lot of patience. Anyway. I think doing all the editing and. And doing that, and but and and a lot of knowledge because you got to know that. what to do. You got to know what right. speckles yeah. to take off and which ones are going to be distracting, and because yeah. you don't want to waste your time doing everything, touching everything up, because that's not going to help. Yeah, that's but, why. That's why I like watching these guys, like John and Eddie, when he was here, when they do edits that, like. We know what to look for, but like some transitions, just like a simple transition that most people don't, like. They know it looks good, but they don't know why. And it, it it's it's cool to see. I just know Instagram gives me a filter, and I try it, and it looks good, and I use it. Yeah. But that's, yeah. It, <laughs> well, that's why your guys' see, pictures are way better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but it's 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 fun. It's, it's, it's time-consuming, but it makes the day go faster. Because you, today what sucked, though, is that I was falling asleep when I was doing it. So I was doing, like... So I, I just got up and fucking had an energy drink. You and then posted that. a lot today, like because my phone kept going off. Because obviously I follow you guys on everything, so I was like, "Damn, when is he doing all this shit?" Oh, well, <laughs> like, you have notifications right? on? Yeah, I have notifications. Oh shit, man! I I turned those off because my phone would be bing, 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 bing. Oh, yeah, okay. But then I miss all the cool stuff if that, I turn them off. So that is true. But yeah, you're, uh, I'm you were going crazy, like just oh, uh, I'm out wandering the showroom floor and I'm. Like, just like damn, damn, he's like cranking them out. Yeah, that's and what we tried I to found do, it man. really weird that probably ninety percent of the shit you posted today was pictures of Bruce. So we're bros, we're homies. It's mm-hmm. just, it is what mm-hmm. it is. I see. Bros before what? Oh, oh, did you? Wow. Um, congratulations. That's why it smells so good in here. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> so wait, actually, so Travis, you. Just started working for Tops yeah. recently. What is it you do there? Um, well, I started in the, the sandblast booth. Uh, you know, everybody kind of takes a turn doing that. It's kind of the initiation, um, you know, before Tops took over, um, so to speak. So um, uh, I started in, in the sandblast booth for about a month and a half. Because uh, we, you know, we were trying to find good people and and uh, get get fully staffed and and get you know things going and going quick. So I jumped in there and I stayed in there for a month and a half. And then uh, from there I jumped out and started doing handles. Um, started gluing boards together. Learned how to do that from the epoxy side. You know, learning the the difference between G10 and and the canvas material to a micro. You know, so um, uh, learned that side of it. And then and then started cutting. Um, started uh, Doing a little bit of the, the the finish work on the handles, bringing the X outs on the handles, um, and then uh, you know working directly with Benny. Um, you know, I told him I want to start powder coating, so he taught me that, and and I've been doing powder coating for about about a month straight now. So, um, but yeah, I really enjoy it. It's it's fun to 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 start you know in that position where it's you start where the when the fur, when the knife comes over to our side. You know, that's what we do. We throw in the blaster after all the heat treatment's done and everything else. So, um, and seeing that, you know, the starting process to the end where we turn it back over or it goes back over to the other building so they can, you know, put the finished work on it and, and make it look really good. So, um, yeah. You wear that green suit all day? Um, or did they I did. It? I did, yeah. Um, and, and you learn to uh, get in the shower to take off your clothing when you get home because there's sand all over your floors. I uh, learned that the hard way. Um, I was doing it in the, in the laundry room, but the laundry room, it was like a cat box after a while. <laughs> there was a lot of, a lot of sand. So, Did you have to, you wore a respirator during? Oh, yes, of course, yeah. yeah was it like a full, like how did you do it with your beard? Did you have to like it's put like a bunch a, of Vaseline um, or is it like a hood? It's a hood. Oh, it's almost a hood. like, it's like an a space astronaut. Suit. Yeah, yeah like nice. a space suit. Okay. Yeah, and there's, you know, you can turn the air up and down if, you know, you're getting hot or whatever. And, and, uh, you know, usually one earphone in, get the other one there, just in case something goes wrong, you can hear what's going on. So yeah, yeah. If you have to pee, there's like a little tube in there. No. And then if you have to poop, no. there's like a little there's like thingy a little that like no. that okay. you. Yeah. You just you just tell them, hey, I need a break for a second. Oh yeah. So so that wasn't right. No. no, no, no. Sorry. 
It's not accurate. No moisture is allowed in the sandblasting. So you don't no really, moisture. No. So there's if you no, piss your pants, you're at, you're in trouble. There's no pee yes, circulation okay. in that you drink <laughs> liquid. Nope. No. Okay. You know, so it's a great system like, that we have, you know, the ventilation system, you know, sucking all the sand out. But mm-hmm. So it's uh, not like an don't. astronaut suit. <laughs> it is, kind of. It looks like one. Yeah. Oh, where does, yeah, it feels where like does the sand go? Does it just get filtered and then reused? Um, and, and no. Okay. No. Um, some of the sand we do re- reuse that falls down to the ground, um, you know, and, and a lot of the dust or the... The smaller particles that get sucked up into the in the ventilation system goes out in a tube, and then um, we empty that twice a week. Um, uh, both the handle material from the other side, and mm-hmm. you know it's on both sides. So, is there anything that could be made with that, like with the excess? Probably not. I don't know. With the excess question. from like Material. from when they cut down my car and stuff, like the, the like the dust and stuff, could that be used like mixed with resin to make anything or? Oh, yeah. Craig says it probably wouldn't be worth the time wouldn't and be, effort. Wouldn't be cost effective for you guys, but right. for maybe a custom maker uh, that makes their own handles and stuff oh. that like and they, they could probably purchase use it. it. Yeah, yeah. Craig said it'd probably have a lot of air bubbles. That too. That's a cool word. Air bubbles? No, just the bubbles too- part. Bubbles. <laughs> bubbles. Nice. You can't say bubbles without sounding like a kid. Bubbles. Yeah. yeah nice. What other words are like that? Huh? I don't even know. There's more words. There's a lot of words that you say over and over, like, become weird. Just about any word, like Jason. Just Jason. Jason? That one started out weird. (laughs) What's funny funny is, like, today walking around the booth and talking to different people, they, every, one of the first things they do is they look at your badge. Uh Like, they want to see what your name is, where you're from, and all that shit. Well, my name's J S E N, Uh right? Not J S O N. So, it's funny because, like, oh, you always get these Jason? people, Jason, Jason. like, Jason, or, really? like, yeah, like, people, like, see that E, and it just totally throws them, throws off. them off, and they're like, yeah. oh, is it Jason? No, it's just Jason. Yeah. Like, yeah, i Really? I'm like, yeah, just Everywhere. Jason, don't worry yeah. about it, it's fine, you know? It, yeah, it just throws them off. It's like, really, I'm the first Mexican you encounter named Tissos. Which is weird, Habibi. Yeah, I've, I've had people, <laughs> you know... Um, <laughs> Ye- yesy, I'd be called Yesy and Yason, and you know, it's, it's, we're just fine. Here. I don't care, but, but yeah, it's funny that how that E just really th- throws people off. You're like, oh, what? you know. But I mean, if you think about Jason, if you just say Jason, hmm. like you're not saying Jason. He thought my name or, was Tyler. You know, no, I or said he, I wanted to call you Tyler. I was like, oh, never thought your my name bad. was Tyler. My bad. Ty- Tyler Durden. No, it's just we don't for some reason I want to say Tyler, but I know it's Travis. He is Tyler. Tyler. Maybe Durden. we're related. Is that your middle name? <laughs> no, my middle name's Wayne. No shit. Travis Wayne. Mm-hmm. But see, that flows. T Dub. That's <laughs> <T-dub>. <laughs> actually if that flows. It's a good. It's, I had a guy throw me off today. Uh, it was a company. I was walking by. They gave me a badge holder, and he goes, "Oh, Jason." I'm. Al-. He goes, "Jason Albert." And well, his name was Albert. Um, but it threw me off because I had I actually looked at my badge and I go, they put my middle name on here because my middle name is Albert. Oh, is it for real? And it, so when he said it, I was like, oh, shit, they put my middle name on here. And I'm like, oh, no, it's not on there. <laughs> it was Albert. So I was like, totally threw me for a loop. And I was like, holy crap, this Confused is weird. You. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's just stupid, stupid stuff you run across at SHOT Show, I guess. <laughs> yeah. No, but I've always found it weird that they call me Jesus. Like, well, and if you go off the badge too, you know, some people are like, "Yeah, I'm affiliated with these guys, but I'm actually from, you know, a totally different state." Or there was a guy that had, uh, uh, it wasn't Philippines, it was something else, but he he wasn't even international. He was here local, but he was just you know rep- representing them. So or they yeah, had the ones it's that, a big no no to do that. By yeah. the way, yeah, Shot Show is not messing around when they. Oh, yeah, yeah, you are not supposed to share your badge. Should I? No. Yeah, it was like business cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other time it was like, "Hey, Linda, my name's Robert." Like, yeah. Oh, fuck. Well, then why are you wearing your wife's badge or whatever? Whoever Linda is. You know? Yeah. That yeah. never happened, but it was a cool story. Or you get the it ones was, too, where really like cool. it has her name, and then they're they're a company, but then they're not there with that particular company. They're actually with another company. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's like okay. I guess you know. Yeah, it's a mess. Well, you have sales reps that have you know a bunch of different companies that they'll rep. Yeah. So I've seen that a lot. It's, it's surprisingly life. difficult to get a badge, though. Like, so when I last year I came under a law enforcement um, 
pass, okay. right? So this year through the YouTube channel, I was able to get a media pass. How how is that application process? It was like what's what are the steps? What do you have to do? Or what? Do you have to so when I went to or? when I went to their web page when they when they opened it up for registration, uh-huh. um, when I was reading their requirements, I was like, okay, I oh, man, I qualify, but I kind of don't according to this. So I ended up emailing the head of the the media passes mm-hmm. and uh, kind of explained to him what I do and how I had a YouTube channel and stuff like that. And he was like, I sent him a link to the YouTube channel. He wound up getting back to me fairly quickly and he was like, Hey, you know what? That's all good. We can get you a pass. The only thing you have to do is um, you have to actually incorporate your name in the description of your YouTube channel. Oh, okay. And so I was like, okay. So I just changed the description of the YouTube channel and added my name and boom, they approved me. And then I was like, okay, so I kind of need, it would be nice to have somebody with me to help, right? Yeah. So, like, to help film or whatever. So, I emailed them back. I was like, hey, what do I need to do to get a pass for my wife so she can help me film and do other things? And, man, that kind of turned into a whole thing. Like, it was like, oh, you're going to have to add her name into the description as well, which wouldn't be a big deal. But then I I had to kind of, like, show, like, proof of employment for her. I'm like, well, it's a YouTube channel. Filmer holding a light. Like, there's a YouTube channel. I don't, <laughs> I'm not getting paid to do this. I'm not yeah. paying anybody to do this. So, uh, so I just like, I, you know, I'll just go by myself and buy a yeah. tripod. I'll be fine. <laughs> you should have just had her fill out a W whatever, a W9 w- and hold yeah. a light, film her holding a light, and then put her in the credits. Yeah, I could have. Light holder, but director. It's all right. It's fine. I mean, producer. How long have you been doing the YouTube channel? Just uh, about a little over Obviously a year I now. I followed you. Yeah, about Sorry, two weeks. But that's probably gonna so happen. you could get to the two show. Weeks? No, it's um. <laughs> when did I start okay. that? I started. That's where I was going. Yeah. <laughs> I think I actually started it um just before for like a year now. Blade Show West, a little over a year. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Something, yeah, something like that. And then just recently, I really started doing the Instagram a lot more. So, um, <clears throat> my original intent was to. Um, actually, yeah, it was about a, yeah, a little over a year ago. How many um, accounts do you have on Instagram? Just two. I have a personal one. I thought, I thought it was three. Oh, then somebody's hijacked me. Then I guess because because that Jason Flaming's that Jason Flaming's pretty funny. Oh, <laughs> not me then. Maybe sometimes I'm funny, but no, I have I have I have a personal account. What's your Instagram? Straight Edge Giants. Not that, the other one. Well, I don't want to say it because I'm you know, kinds of weirdos. Oh, <laughs> oh, you think the listeners are weirdos? No, it's just two. They already follow you. Yeah, no. <laughs> no it's, it's PJ Roadstar seventeen hundred. Okay. How many followers do you have? I, I can I can take it out if you don't. Want me. No, I don't care. Okay, then why don't you make a big deal about? Send me it? messages. <laughs> <and so on. laughs> no, no. So I, it's um, just those two. No, so like on the on the one account, the the personal account, I was uh, I had posted like pers- uh, pictures of family and oh, stuff okay. like that, and then so, uh, after a while, I was like, well, if I'm going to keep doing this, okay, I should probably enough. yeah have a distinct separate yeah we did that account. Too. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, we did that too. And so then I created the Straight Edge Knives account. And pretty much everything on Straight Edge Knives is just knife related. Yeah. Because I have my own, my other Instagram where it's just like personal stuff. And I haven't posted there like in four years. (laughs) Yeah. I I don't, I mean, there's not a ton on my other account. There's not a ton of personal stuff, you know. So, uh, because for a long time I had a hard time trying to figure out how Instagram worked. Cause I'm an old guy. No, nah, it's you not because you're old. It's just because Instagram is weird and they keep changing the way they do things. Um, right uh, now, right up. now as it sits, I have 109 followers. Instagram followers. when it first started was kind of like the woman app, you know, like Pinterest and Instagram. I felt like Instagram because it was all selfies, from, you know, like from oh, whatever okay. angle, yeah, you know, from, when it first happened. Yeah, blatant shot of the good. Yeah, so I was like Instagram. Yeah, so, so to be honest, I really. I have an Instagram, but I don't go on a lot. But it's linked to my Facebook, so anything. I Once Facebook, you get it catered to what you like, it's like TikTok and Instagram. Like once yeah. you get it to the stuff you like that you that you follow, it's it's fun. But like the first the first few months, I think it's kind of it kind of sucks because you're getting all sorts of weird shit that you don't that you probably don't want to see anyway. Yeah, and then right. it consistently give right. you, you're learning, gives you furries, yeah. and you're like, wait, I don't like furries, <laughs> but you click on every one of them anyway. I mean, you know. Tails are nice, I mean. And, and yeah. 
And you still do it? Yeah, yeah. Seven yeah, years yeah. later. Like, like, I don't want to see this, but let no, me click is, on it real quick. This is bullshit. <laughs> what's, what's this little bookmark looking thing? Yeah. <laughs> what's this like little triangle this that heart? shares? Why am I hitting yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> Is this uh, hard to get rid of it? Favoriting this yeah. account. Following. I followed that? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to let him know what I think. L- a lol. Yeah. Like, <laughs> was I drunk when I followed that? Uh, oh, damn. Yeah, no, like, I feel like if they shut down TikTok, for example, I'd, I'd be pissed because my TikTok's, like, catered to me, so I, I get really cool videos, and it would suck to have to start over. Yeah. Because TikTok sucks when you when you first... Yeah. It, oh it's yeah, just, it, it's stupid. It doesn't just know throwing, yeah. throwing whatever against the wall and yeah. so you once like you, it. once mm-hmm. uh, once it's catered to the stuff you like, you get like badass videos of like for example, I like seeing like machine processes a lot. So or uh, people working on like cutting stuff out of wood with chainsaws and making like it's it's badass. And so once it's catered to you, it's cool. Right. So having to start no, over, it sucks. It would see, suck. I haven't done TikTok. Yeah. I, I, don't have, fun. I don't have the app at all. This uh, fun. But Joe, Joe Rogan scared me off of it. Yeah, fuck. I mean, yeah. You know, when he did that one podcast <gasps> where we're talking about all the stealing all your info and stuff. I'm like, okay. Every, I don't app, do does that. Every app does that. Every app does that. They do. But they might as well have fun right with it. So when somebody points it out to you, you're like, have you oh, ever shit. like been in a room and talked about something and then the next day there's like an advertisement? Yeah, yeah. you can turn that off. All the time. Oh, you can it's turn an it actual thing? Yeah, you can turn it off on your phone. See, yep. I need to be but, educated here. But see, like it, it's supposed to, it's supposed to be your, like in your benefit. Like it, it'll push content that you're, that you're actually interested in, or it's products targeted, that you're it's targeted advertising. It's targeting advertising. So it, it, it knows your, to you. it knows your demographic. It listens to what you're talking. They about. They kind of listen to it, you. No, it, like it, uh, it listens for keywords. It's not yeah. like there's some dickhead on the other side going, "Oh, well, yeah," you know, like taking notes on the shit that you yeah. write. No, no yeah. it's looking for certain keywords. In this Travis is hilarious. Yeah, well, we'll send <laughs> it was some. funny. It was one time yeah, we had talked about I'm moving sorry. out of out of state, right? Me and my wife, and she's like, we talked about, oh yeah, we'd like a you know, piece of property, like a couple acres or something like that. And she goes, oh, well, would you get a tractor? I go, yeah, maybe we might need one. Very next day, John Deere I opened up YouTube, and yeah. the very first video that popped up on recommendation was how to buy your first tractor. Yeah. yeah. And that was literally the only You don't need a tractor for two acres. Bro. And then the first video that popped up was how to skin a cat. Oh, shit. <laughs> that, went, that took a left turn. <laughs> you know, but, yeah, that happens all the time. It's weird because we barely talked about it, and yet yeah. all of a sudden I had all these tractor things popping yeah. up you know yeah but it caters to what it thinks you need or want yeah. but you can you can turn that shit off <laughs> i think i need the winning lotto numbers i need the winning lotto numbers let's see if that pops up <laughs> i don't know if that oh, i don't oh, know no. if that'd be an ad though like they're they're trying to get you to buy something maybe you're, it'll be lottery yeah tickets. lottery ticket ads or yada ads yeah you ever do yada you should do yada what is yada I'll tell you about it. I'll send you a link so that I can get my fucking gold stats. I mean, you were pretty <laughs> hot on the crypto, and we've seen how that's turned out. Is that the horse out. one? I told, you, I told you guys it was going to tank, and you guys didn't listen. <laughs> I didn't listen. Did I never you bought listen? it. Did so. you sell it all? Huh? Did you sell it all before the crash? No. No, I've been buying still. Huh? Why ouch? I've still been buying. And now my average is, like, way down, so it doesn't even have to go that far, that far, that high up for it to be, like, in profit. That and the NFTs have taken it up too. Huh? Oh, the NFTs were yeah, those are rough. That one, that Dude, one. I try, I tried to buy, it, I tried to buy your guys' NFT and uh, I couldn't. I can never figure out how to buy it. Yeah, <laughs> those those are like they're gonna be cool in the future, but the technology is just not there. It's like the dot com. Fucking, we were talking about this too. Like the infrastructure wasn't there, and you were you had all these companies starting online, and they just didn't have the they just didn't have the to keep up. And so they were all going to crash. Like Amazon, mm-hmm. it tanked 98%. And then it went fucking on a bull, massive bull run that lasted like fucking 20 years. Mm. So people that just kept buying, they made bank, like like yeah. good money. But not everything's going to do that. No. So you have to kind of you know, do your research and see what's, what has a high probability of making it. Because at the end of the day, it's all a gamble. But you're gambling on stuff that there's a high chance that it'll make it. And you see what people are, you see what companies are doing, you see what people are doing. Yeah, but the thing that I, you know, nobody truly knows what's going to happen with it. So it's, it's just too big of a risk. It's, it's, it's a not, gamble, but it's if not. you think about it, you know, in, in the terms of um, is, target, is Target ever going away? 
Um, Probably. Is Walmart it ever could. going away? It could. Is eventually. It could. Amazon ever going away? The likelihood is. Yeah, but is, it, is the likelihood of that happening in your lifetime good? Yeah. Well, a lot is of people never thought Sears would go away. And that's, Sears that's, is gone. that's true, yeah. but there was a point at which Sears was all the way up here, yeah. right? Before it tanked. And, right. and you have to think about like the, the company management, the fact that these are big conglomerates and when they, when they're going to go under like that, like Sears had kind of tapered off before it ever became like, um, like, well, I guess it was overtaken by other companies. So if it were to fall, which it did, then it wouldn't be like a huge economic crash. It would just be one part of that one sector of that falling. Plus you're not, you're not putting your whole life savings into it. Yeah. No. You're diversifying. Say, say you got. You have an extra hundred bucks, for example, right? Mm -hmm. You buy you buy X company, you buy it's trading at a hundred dollars a share. Okay. You buy one share, right? It tanks ninety eight percent, so now it's worth two bucks, right? Just buy another hundred bucks, because now you can buy fifty shares. So now you have fifty one shares. Your average is fucking like two dollars and ten cents. So now if it just goes to five bucks, you doubled your money. Yeah, but how much did you lose when it tanked? You're but it does hundred bucks. Yeah, you lost a hundred dollars. Yeah. So in two thousand eight, when I lost twenty six thousand dollars out of my four hundred one k, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, sucked bad. It does. So, but, but you then don't I'm just stop. supposed to keep throwing money into it. You no, buy but when it's it? low. But see, your four hundred one k, had you not touched it, it would have fucking three hundred uh, three x or four x by now. Yeah, but it's not worth as much inflation. No, it should be up there because because we had like a fucking giant ass bull run from two thousand eight till now. Yeah, no, it, it tanked two thousand twelve. Yeah, no, but I, it I lost fucking, money then too. But it it tanked and then it recovered. It recovered yeah, like yeah. it hit all time highs in two thousand one. Yeah, it's and it's an investment in two thousand twenty one. But it's you know, not, it's just it but just put a sour taste in my mouth. I think it sucks. Yeah, like it people sucks. that barely got into crypto like during this like they bought at the top it sucks for them yeah they lost a lot 70 80% <laughs> right but you figure it usually rebounds really well yeah so you just buy a little bit more cuz like most people they don't put their life savings into something and if they do they're fucking idiots because they shouldn't be right and like 401k's 401k's is, it's Diverse. Yeah, it's, it's not diversified. You're, it's till you retire. It's not, it's not something you sell the next day, the next year. You're you're saving this for for years. If you look at the market from when it started to now, it's averaged at least eleven percent a year. Averaged, averaged. So yeah, you're taking so, a thirty year average. It's eleven yeah. percent per year. And this is a hundred year average. But it's you like could 100%. take yeah. But you could take like a ten year average, and it could be a negative percent, mm -hmm. and it would suck. But and for the if long you're run, gonna, yeah, yeah if, if, for the long run, it's gonna average out to eleven. If you're if you're in your sixties or seventies, you're pretty fucked. Yeah, yeah. If it tanks while you're mm -hmm. see, and that's you know that's you know, but I, it's I, all I risk. One of my buddies that passed away, you know, I spent a lot of time with his mom and and seeing you know how much she's been through because of that. You know, yeah. like, I think that has an effect on me and and kind of stamps me to be like, no, and it sucks yeah. because because I lost money too, and it's yeah. like you know, yeah, so. it sucks because. You stay with that experience, and so if if you do do it like uh, in a way where you know what your risk is and you do risk management, and then it doesn't suck as much because especially when you're doing it for the long term, because these dips are like they're really good opportunities. They really are because you're averaging your price down so that you don't have to wait for it to get to those highs again for you to be in profit. All it has to do is just rise a little bit and you and you get rallies you get like you get two three month rallies where you're able to to get your original investment back and then it's just free money that's just writing and then you wait for another good crash and then because that's when the safest to invest when you have those big crashes that everybody's crying about mm -hmm. that's the safest when everybody's saying man this is like the greatest like buy but that's the worst time because it you know a correction's coming. I bought a house in 2009. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right after that, so. Yeah. And it was probably pretty cheap. Yeah. It was $180,000 and and it sold for over 400. Yeah, see? Yeah. Cuz that was the best time. Yeah. I didn't sell for 400. I sold no. it for 180. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you sold it. I did. In 2009. 
No, we bought it in oh, 2009. Oh, you bought it in 2009. When did you yeah. sell? Uh, 2015. Oh, but see, in 2015, the prices were still pretty cheap. Yeah. So. Because I bought mine in 2015, uh, in December. Yeah, it was, uh, I went through a divorce yeah. during that time, so. So yeah. I was like. Kind of a sell. Yeah, yeah get out yeah. of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, We both were that but way. But that's so. also a good investment when you cut your losses and just. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're still friends to this day. So. Yeah, right. Uh, but yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> like people that ask me, I, I always tell them, man, like, don't, don't stay with that last experience because you know, like, you need to understand how it works, and then you'll realize that, like, it's riskier not not investing something, especially for the long term, where where not only is it is it getting more valuable as time passes. Like if you get something that has dividends, those are helping it grow. Um, your tax savings and all that. If, if you know how to move it, 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 it's all, it all helps build that wealth because it compounds and that's what you want. Yeah. Cause you're doing a little here, a little there. You don't do it all into one thing. Like I love crypto, but it's not all in crypto. You do a little bit of stock, you do this and, it's not as high as it was, but it's still pretty good. Like, and it should do well in the next two or three years. But. So you think crypto is going to come back? Oh, yeah. this whole thing—it's it, always the same pattern. A lot of a lot of coins die. Like that's they 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 die, but a lot of them, a lot of like the main ones, the big ones, use you. One of the things you should do is not read what what banks say and what they because they say one thing. See what they're doing. They're investing in this stuff. They're not going to invest in this stuff unless they believe it's going to be uh they're going to make money off of it. And so you're seeing them invest in crypto while at the same time they're telling you it's dead or it's dying. Yeah. But you see them on the back end doing it. So like Pick, picking up on the cheat. So like during the the big that big rise in, in price, they weren't investing in it because when the boat leaves, big companies bring the boat back, and so they they that's what happened. They do they find ways of taking the price, then they get in. They tell you not to get in because they're getting in, and they tell you to sell so that they can buy, and then and then when they're in, they're, they're like well, maybe this is a good investment because they're already in. And then, and then they say this is a great investment, so you buy and they can sell to you. Yep, that, that's just how it works. That and it's always that cycle. Price up. Mm -hmm. That that demand drives the price up, and then they make money off of you because you listen to them. And then, like the re the retail, which is us, the people that just buy a little bit at a time, we get that that fear of like missing the the ride. So you go in last minute. That's that's the final dump. Here you go, guys. Enjoy. We're out, and then. And that's what happens here, because everybody, like a lot of the a lot of the people that have been through the cycle, they're like it's gonna dump again, and it's, but you don't know when. So if you if you get out too early, you miss a lot of these big runs, and you're like fuck. But so if that's you get why out you too have, late, you lose all the money. Yeah, so that's why you you sell a little bit as you go. You take a little bit of profits until your initial investment is done. That's what I was showing him on the way here. I'm like, see, like. I took enough out so where the money that was left was not mine anymore. Like, it's mine, but it, my initial investment was out. And so then the rest is just free. So if it goes to zero, I lost zero of my own. Yeah, it sucked seeing it go, like, that high and then come down, but it wasn't mine anyway. Like, yeah, it, it's for future me. That. And so part of that money that, that I lost. That door did just open money. itself. Didn't yeah, it? it did. Okay. All right. Yeah, all right. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> like, I should be all right. We're sitting here and it just opens and I'm like, I'm waiting for someone to walk through and nobody yeah, does. Yeah. I, I thought well, somebody opened it as they walked by, but, but the door It sucks is, because yeah. you. Sorry. Like, it's a. Squirrel. Like, right. squirrel. It's when they give you something that you never had and then they take it away. It sucks because I had it for a bit. You know what I mean? Right. But it was never yours anyway. So what's the next thing coming up that you that you would invest in? <laughs> that I would 
it's like, twice. I, I think we're it's, <laughs> just. I think people already like are jumping into it, but like the the big thing right now is AI. The, 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 the a lot of people are investing in, and this the the NFTs and the all that stuff. It's gonna come back stronger hmm. once they find a good way to do it, where it's, I guess, safe for the public or whatever, where they can put some order to it. Because right now there's like companies that aren't even real companies that are just scamming people. Because there there are a lot of scams. Yeah. And so if you're not offering real value, but for example, like the, like the if they can use um, NFTs to sell like NBA or concert tickets and yeah, and that's that's they give you an NFT just to prove that that you're getting in, and then that has a little bit of value going forward. It's way cooler than getting a fucking piece of paper that you're just gonna throw away. Because, I mean, you're paying for the concert, not necessarily for the NFT part of it, if that makes any sense. So do you think NFTs will morph into something like, no, nah, I, I don't know what that, like season, like a season ticket holder yeah, holds an NFT, mm -hmm. and then they have to pay, like, that's just their their seat. Because, like, when we when we lived here, we looked into Golden Knight season tickets, mm -hmm. and, like, in order, you have to buy the seat, and you have to buy the tickets. Yeah. So you have to like put on a deposit, and it's like it was like seventy five hundred dollars a seat or something like that. Yeah. Because we were looking at Nell's bleeds. I mean, you know, we were looking at the cheap ones, and it was like you had to pay a certain amount up front, and then you bought the seats, and then you were entitled to buy the tickets because you owned the seats. Yeah. Yeah. There's Does there's a sense? lot. Yeah. Wow. There's a lot of stuff that can be done with those. And Wait, so if you buy the seat, and you don't buy the ticket, you can't go to the game. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but you, you own the seat, you so nobody seat. else should be no, sitting there. No, if you right? you own the seat. But then, if somebody else, somebody else can buy the ticket and go, but do you, it, do you get a portion of the does, money? No, all because the seat does seat. is entitle they, you <laughs> to buy the season tickets. You like are a you are first come to right. those season. They tickets. actually have that. But in if the, you don't come, the Mountain can, America Arena there in Idaho yeah. Falls. Yep, yep, that's crazy. Yeah, they do. Yeah, but yeah, there's, so I could see that. There's as a lot like of an application there's a lot of utility to it, but you have to fucking weed out the the scams. You have to weed out all that shit. That almost sounded like a scam. You bought the seat, it, but if you don't buy the ticket, very much somebody feels else can buy like it a scam. And send it. Yeah, you know, like well, wait a minute, I bought the damn seat. You're so, you're buying an entitlement to buy the tickets. If you choose not to buy the tickets, somebody else can buy the tickets. Well, uh, that's different though, because yeah, you're choosing yeah, not to buy it. When's the cutoff before? I think there's a there's a certain date. Like you can sell your tickets if you have why season can't tickets. They you just can sell, sell them. Oh, you ticket, but. Like really? Why can't they just sell a ticket? Here's it's a ticket. Another way to kick seat. you in the nuts so. and take your money. Because yeah, it's another <laughs> way to make money. But yeah, and they wonder why people hate corporations. Yeah, you know? but all but all well, that stuff at the end of the day, it's cool because they're open ledgers. It's just people find ways to scam people, and that's always going to be. Yeah, you're ticket scalpers. Ticket. Yeah, take ticket scalpers is that for for that. Yeah, for and, and and sucks is like with Ticketmaster, they they pretty much allow it now because resale tickets. Yeah, the resale tickets are ridiculously high. Yeah, you know for concerts, you go, you know, well shit, look at Taylor Swift concerts. Oh yeah, crash kind of Ticketmaster yeah. system. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, and then looking at the, tickets are like twelve grand. Yeah, and, and then the thing that happened that's crazy, crap, dude. That's crazy. When when uh, my girls were like twelve and fourteen years old, she was like sixteen. We went and watched her concert in Idaho Falls, and it was just, she met all the fans and everything, and seeing f what she went from that to what she is now, wow. It's crazy. It's, huh? it's crazy. It's crazy. But I'm not a fan. My daughters were a fan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, I'm glad you had to clarify. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I had to make sure you yeah. knew Bruce. It's Tay-Tay. It's okay. It's Tay-Tay. It's Tay-Tay. What's Tay-Tay? You know who Tay-Tay is. You guys both met, yeah. You guys both met each other there without your daughters. Or without you play, your, yeah. You're playing yeah. dumb here, Tay Tay. Who's that? <laughs> Even I know. You, you know, you knocked your daughters out of the way, and we're the first one like, pow, get out of the way. Tay Tay, what's up, girl? Yep, <laughs> that's true. Tay Tay. She was 16 at the time, so maybe not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was purely from a musical standpoint. But he did go like one day after she turned 18. Oh, well, fair enough. Yeah, he was fair there. Time. He was there day two of her 18th. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But, but back uh, to the the NFT. Thing. Like, some of the example, songs you wrote were about me, actually. Yeah. So, so, for example, the ones we did for Tops, the with the logo and stuff, we could have easily done like, for example, the Tops Custom Shop one. We could have easily done that. Only the people that had it could bid, and we could look and we could see that hey, you do have one because yeah. you're the only one that can have it. And I remember you guys talked about that, and that's why well, I was going to do it. I couldn't figure out how to buy the damn yeah. thing. No, you can't <laughs> do screenshots because they, we can have them transfer it to our wallet. 
so they don't have it anymore but now they have that knife and see the thing the thing with that that we we just stopped is because people were associating with scams and so we don't want we don't want tops to be associated with something that could be a scam. So we just, you know what? Fuck it. We'll just stop it. But it was legit. Yeah. Like, do they still are, exist? They still exist. Are they sitting around in your wallet? They're sitting in the tops wallet. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're still in the tops wallet. Yeah. I mean, they're still there. I could transfer. I could send. I think the people listening one, but John vaping NFT, like yeah. just, <laughs> and those and those are just the it, those are the equivalent of the number on a ticket that just represents that, and so it's it's a visual way to say, hey, this is my NFT. But at the end of the day, it's just the numbers. That's what matters. The whole the whole address. That's what matters. Hmm. But but you associate it with a picture just because it's funner, and that's that's the way to say, hey, this is mine. And, I still have my my horses and my cats, and it's yeah. just it's it's, it's cool. Like, how are the horse races going? It's been a long time since we heard. Dude, about I those. haven't <laughs> I haven't logged in yet, but they're they're still building on that. They are. So, yeah, they're still building on it. So, for example, if you had a shit horse, you could go on there and rent a good horse, and then so the the people that own the good horses, they're making passive income just for having the fucking thing, and and me, I could make money from racing a good horse by just renting it. Wow. As, John made any money off of his uh, computer lawn mowing service? No, no, fucking John. John is the unluckiest person that I've ever met when it comes to this kind of shit. Because uh, when that whole Luna thing was happening, when Terra Luna crashed, um, it crashed from like what was it like hundred some dollars to zero basically. But there was a moment that it crashed to like two two bucks a share, and he had. He had like fifty bucks worth of another crypto, so I'm like, John, like, dude, I'm looking at this graph right now, and it looks like there's gonna be a bounce right here. I'm like, you should, you should get some, and he got some. He got fifty dollars worth, and I went to, I went to the bathroom, and I looked real quick, and it, it bounced right there, and he about tripled his money, and so I sent him a message and I'm like, sell, John. He's like, nah, I'm gonna wait, and then it went to zero. Oh. Wow. But if he would have gone out there, he would have tripled his money within like ten minutes. Because it was going nuts. But you you could you can see zones on the graphs. You can see zones where you're like, there's a high likelihood that it's gonna bounce here at least temporarily, because stuff doesn't just go, you know. It it usually does this kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And so you there's zones that are value zones. So there's zones where people put orders in, and so. You get enough orders, it pushes the price back up, but a lot, most of the time it's just temporary. And so there's different, you know, you, you get your different time frames. So, so you can see where it's gonna bounce on a weekly, for example. And those take weeks and months to play out. So, so you look at those first, kind of put your zones, and then then you start going into the lower time frames, and then you can see, okay, so. It'll probably bounce off of this area and get you a nice little ten percent return or twenty percent. And then you just do that. But when it when it's times like this where it's like there's a lot of uncertainty, you don't want to be doing that. Because the likelihoods that it's wrong are are way higher than when it's just a nice bull run that you have your your peaks and valleys. And so it's consistent. So you can you can pretty much time it. But right now, like during these bear markets, you don't want to do that. You just, when you have a big, big dip that's like, that hurts, you just buy a little bit more and then just write it out. Because this is long term. But you're buying good stuff, not shit. You want to stay away from shit. So I shouldn't invest in Kmart? No, you just invest in the S&P. And that's it. 500 companies, the 500 top best companies, you can't go wrong. Those always recover first and you you take your whatever dividends you get and you re-roll it into it and you just keep writing that. And it does this. Then the longer it goes, the faster it goes up. Towards the end of when you're going to retire, usually you have enough dividends and shares and stuff that it... You see that? And there's calculators, if you don't believe me. You just go on and and you type in, for example, you, you type in the gear. What was the worst market crash? Put in there that you're gonna buy 
a shitload right before the crash, like at the peak, and you still make money. Even though you'll see your account go from, say, you, you have 10000 in there, you'll see it go from 10000 to about 2000 bucks, and it fucking hurts. Mm-hmm. And you see it recover, and you're like at 30, 60, 70, 100, and whatever. It sucks as if you go to retire, and it's at and, that point. At that point. Yeah. If you're old, then you shouldn't be doing that anyway. Then you go to your financial advisor and, and and you do something else. Low risk. Mm-hmm. Lower risk or you or you buy insurance for it. Because you can buy insurance for, for your stuff. Well, I mean, if you're old, just pull it all out and get cocaine and hookers. Here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spend Might your well. last few years in the, in the life Might of luxury. Well yeah. Might yeah. as well. Leave your it's kids like, nothing. There's a, there's a Mexican movie where he says that he's like, man, he's like, I used to be rich, but... I blew most of it on hookers and blow. He's like, I, I blew about half of it on hookers and blow. He's like, what about the other half? Oh, I just bought stupid shit with that. <laughs> but it's, uh, I don't know. You just have to kind of be, you have to, you just have to be patient for that kind of stuff. And it's, that's why you don't look every day. Unless you're planning on becoming a day trader or something, then that's different. And those are different tactics anyway. But, are you guys gonna hop or you on or just be the computer genius? At, over or here? should we stop it? Are you guys hopping on at all or no? Jeez, we're not gonna get any words of wisdom from Craig. He already said them all, but they're gonna have to get bleeped out. Are you gonna hop on for a bit or not? Here, I'll get. What? Yeah, me. I'm like, well, I thought we should all give him the headphone machine. Yeah, here. Yeah, here you go. Here. Hi guys, thank you for having me here. My name is Jason, uh, Straight Edge Knives. I'm going to cut that out. We're going to do a little ASMR. Hi. You're feeling sleepy. Touch your beard. Why are you guys whispering? We're doing doing hypnosis. It's a secret. ASMR. ASMR, self-hypnosis. What does ASMR stand for? I have no idea. All I know is it's people whispering and making weird sounds and it's supposed to relax (laughs) you and make you sleep. What does ASMR stand for? Audio sentient Mexican revolution. Okay. Um, <laughs> Mexican he's revolution. right. I am right. Okay. Now I'm going to look it up. How are you doing? <laughs> yes. Craig. Yeah. Am I doing? You look tired. I am tired. Meaning. It's been a long day. Autonomous sensory meridian response is what it yeah, means. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean anything to it's me. It's a term no. used to describe <laughs> a tingling, static like, or goosebump sensation there's, in response to specific triggering audio or visual stimuli. There's a, There are TikToks that. Uh, I'm sorry, Jason. I muted him. That was fun. Oh my God. <laughs> but he stopped talking. As soon as I hit mute, he stopped oh. talking, so he didn't notice. <laughs> Dude, you're, he's mad dogging you but right now. You know now what's too. weird is I don't need sound to do this, and so my wife starts grabbing this like fat hot dog in the back of my neck. <laughs> it. Um, yeah, I get that same oh response. I, I get goosebumps with and my nipples get hard. It's fun. Wow. But anyway, there's a lot of TikToks that do that where they, they'll like rub stuff on the microphone and make it sound really cool. And I don't know. It's it's quite soothing and peaceful. It's kind of creepy. Cool. It's like listening to the rain trying to go to sleep. Or, huh? the, or the white noise. I don't know. I, I like, still don't get it. You don't get goosebumps? Sometimes. I'm gonna, I'm when gonna somebody says something to you, or when something's soothing, not so much, no. So, what about you, Dylan? Dylan lighting a cigarette and rolling it between his lips be like an AM, ASMR sound that we could hear? No, yeah, if but we I get might, close enough, maybe. No, but I might go from yeah. six to midnight. Maybe we should do that. See, look, Dylan's down. <laughs> or like the sound of John Flexing. vaping when he goes. You want to hop on? Would that be like I'm an tired. ASMR sound? No, that on, sounds I'm like tired. a whole bunch of like homoerotic stuff. <laughs> yeah, thank we'll, you guys. We'll have. Oh, thank you, thank you, Travis. It was fun talking to you. Thank you for Travis. It was nice meeting you. Please come again. Did you say professional knife diaper? Yeah, he did. <laughs> but he said diaper. Yeah, yeah. Not diver. I well, it. it's because he also says knives. Diaper. So of it's course. a professional knife diaper. <laughs> so of course. It well, was what was weird is I have the headphones on, so I didn't quite hear what he said. So it almost sounded like professional muff diaper. No, he said professional knife diaper. Guarantee you that's not what he said. Knife and diaper. And if he did, he was definitely not telling the truth. That's great. He said knife diaper. What's up, Johnny? Was re- you cannot read that. Jonathan. It's top secret. <laughs> it's top secret. It's tops. Secrets. 
This is where we talk shit He's about He's breathing people. really hard for no he apparent is. reason. It's because he walked from there. He walked two feet. There. Jason. And sat down. He sat down and took a break. Yeah. yeah. Walk yeah. on Instagram. That's the rest <laughs> area. Oh, page. Walk for John, welcome to the show. Hello, guys. Welcome to the show that we're about to end. Yep. Thank you for joining us. It's been a real one. <laughs> Just kidding. This is your second show? show? Third. Second. So okay. I've only worked here two years. A little over two years. It felt like an eternity. Yeah. Definitely. It feels like a lot. It feels like seven that. years. It's like seven dog years. <laughs> yeah. Sure. You guys finish? We, we finish. Oh, off. not yet. <laughs> not yet, but later. Um, he sleeps with Bruce, so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> no, if I'm going to jerk off, I'm going to do it in the bathroom, obviously. Come on. That's gross, man. <laughs> Why? We all shower there. We shower there. Well, at least do it in the toilet. So next time, I didn't say I was ch- jerking off in the shower. Oh shit, that's me then. Next time, <laughs> next time you go into the bathroom, that? I just want you to think about me jerking off. No, you always bring that up. And then look at where, you, and then look at where <laughs> your toothbrush is. John always likes it. No, I take my toothbrush. And yeah, I take my toothbrush. <laughs> yeah, I do not leave anything. In I the wouldn't bathroom. fuck with anybody's toothbrush, <laughs> but I do want him to think about me jerking off. What's that? I know. We were having like a good oh, discussion. Oh, I'm the one moment. that brought up the dicks. I mean, yes. yeah, we literally went yeah, from right. investing to you guys were talking about dicks earlier. Off and no, we went for yeah, we went from fucking making people changing people's lives to talking about dicks. It's a roller coaster of emotion. Whose life did you change, Jason's? You really? know, Jason. I I don't think this would be a tops podcast if dicks didn't come up at least once. It's true. It has to. Inevitably, during some point in time during the podcast, dicks have to come up. That makes me sad. Jesus is over here trying to make I it find seem it like it's always comical. me. I find it kind of It's usually him. It's never me. It's almost always you. It's never me. Hey, will Straight Edge and I have sponsored the podcast? I have, actually. Really? Yes, I have. Oh, yeah. I I can't remember what it is. <laughs> At one no, point in yeah, time, I, I did. I don't. I through the Tops Daily Grind <laughs> website, I did. It, oh, uh, I don't, it wasn't very much money. Obviously, it was like five, ten bucks or yeah, something. Yeah, that wasn't yeah. a sponsorship. That's what it said. It said, hey, go to Tops Daily Grind. And Help literally, us. I pay. I didn't get anything in return. I said, exactly. That's yeah, not that's a sponsorship. Kind of this a sponsorship, you get something in return. Like what? We give, we give it a shout out. But now we're a lot we bigger. So the five, ten bucks, milliseconds. <laughs> That's true. No, it was just to support the podcast so you can. Yeah, it was to support so the podcast. You we should yeah. do a partnership. Hey, you guys want to support the podcast? So yeah. we keep doing it. Wasn't, that, blah, blah, blah. But it I, wasn't I, a sponsorship. I think I sent five, ten bucks or something like that. Yeah. You know, you know what we bought with that? I don't know. We bought some corn nuts and some gummy bears. Good investment. Corn nuts are good. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Were, Were they the chili picante back. corn nuts? No. No, no it's original. It's got to be original. Oh. That's fucking sucks. It's got to be chili picante. All right. We're going to insert your logo right here. Right here. It's right here on my so hand. Or right here. I have to do it again. Or right here. Yeah, he's not inserting. Have you guys ever inserted anything? No. <laughs> no, because I have to do that. Because <laughs> I I listen to every podcast, but I haven't watched them all. Because no, Leo's like, not going to pay me fucking. A lot of times I, I listen to them while I'm driving to work. You know, to spend time putting stuff like that for in his website right here. Well, we don't have to. Because we don't have to. You know. You tired, Jesus? Fucking tired, dude. I slept three hours. Three hours. I slept 30 minutes. You said 20 earlier. So when Why? did you get 10 more minutes to sleep? Why didn't you sleep longer than that? I had the shits. Why? Mm. Probably because of the barbecue that we ate yesterday. Really? Yes, sir. Mm. You guys didn't get that? Nope. Nope. No? Well, you guys didn't because you had like $2,000 steaks. <laughs> they were they were definitely overpriced. Hmm. And that carnita asada. Would have been better. No, Today's the food was good. The food was, was good. Great. It was just over. It was overpriced. Mm. That's a lot. It of was it. a cool restaurant, but I saw these uh, cowboys get turned down at Delmonico earlier after the shot show. Did you? Yeah. They yeah, because you can't just walk into that restaurant. You have yeah. to have like. Yeah, you have to. Have that like, oh, that restaurant is right next to the show. There's no. There's no way somebody could think that they're just gonna walk up and be like, "Hey, you got seats," at a place like Delmonico. Yeah, you 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 have to get a reservation there normally, let alone right at like during a fucking trade show that's ten feet away from it. So fair enough. Yeah, no, that's not a place you're just gonna walk into and have them be like, "Yeah, come on in." 
That and also smell really bad. What? Huh? Which smell one? like shit. Which one? Um, walking out of the in the hall. Well, that's Vegas. Well, that's because the oh. fucking bathroom's flooded. Yeah, they're clearly having a plumbing issue. Yeah. Oh, Dude, wouldn't you hate to be the plumber that has to fix that oh, shit? Oh, my or the God. Google could you imagine? Fuck that. Yeah, that problem could be anywhere. Yeah. Literally so, anywhere in that building. I would just fucking demolish the hotel. Start yeah. over. Yeah, my recommendation is start over. Just start over. <laughs> just fucking demolish this shit. <laughs> Jesus. I, yeah, that's worse. Like, <laughs> at one point in time, I worked for grocery stores, right? And um, I worked for this one company, Smith's Food and Drug. They're... Oh, never, Smith's. Never yeah. heard of them. Yeah, so at one point they ventured into California. They opened up like 30 some stores like within a year. And I worked at one. And um, they didn't last. I guess, I don't know, something happened. They weren't making as much money as they thought they were going to right away. And they wound up trying to sell them all really quickly. Mm-hmm. But the store was going to close down. And um, we're going through this whole kind of sell everything off type phase. And um, somebody. Manager was like, "Hey, Jason, they're complaining about the women's bathroom. You need to go in there and check it out and clean it." Okay, so I bad I, idea. I went in there, and I was like, "Nope, I nope. There, I don't know what happened to this poor lady, but there was shit all over the toilet, the oh, floor. It was up the wall. Like when I said up the wall, I'm talking like seven, eight feet up the wall. Oh fuck! I mean, it was. It looked like." Something like uh like the forty year old virgin movie when that lady like was sitting on the bathtub and she sneezed and pow, exploded <laughs> all over the gross. wall. <laughs> and so I I walked out of there and another manager was walking by and she goes, Oh hey, did you get a chance to look at the bathroom? And I go, Nope, not doing it. You can fire me, I don't care. And she goes, Is it that bad? And she walked in there and she came out, she goes, I don't blame you, let's go find something else to do. <laughs> I don't know who cleaned it, oh, but it wasn't yeah. me. <laughs> I'm like it was I man. That's, Working for stores and having horrible. to clean bathrooms, it's, it's bathrooms amazing worst, how man. disgusting people can be. Yeah. You know, I'm like, really? Like, why would you, how did you even get your shit that high up on the wall? Yeah. They were probably twer- twerking and got the shit. Like, that, you, that's something you got to, you got to try. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, she had to, like, whoever it was had to have, like, had explosive diarrhea or something and, like, purposely bent over and pointed their butt in the air to no, spray she probably it up passed on the out, wall or something. Went face forward and her ass went... So, I don't know, but I'm like, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, they, they were just pulling out of the toilet and smearing it up the wall of their hands. That's gross. But, mm. yeah, it, it's funny because, like, don't do that. Oh, feet marks on the toilet seats, too. Mm. That surprised me. I was like, why are there, why are there, there hand, foot marks on the seat? Have you ever seat? seen shit marks with, hand, like, handprint and shit marks? Yeah. I, I've seen that, too. Yeah. It's well, like they oh, ran out so, toilet paper. Not too long ago, we went to Hawaii. The, mm. the, this is funny. Okay. We went to uh, Honolulu, whatever. We went to Pearl Harbor, right? And so we're there and doing all the stuff there. And I'm like, you know, it's real, uh, Pearl Harbor is awesome. By the way, if you ever get a chance to go, it's it's very deep and moving. So, but yeah. at one point, I had to go to the bathroom. So I walk into the bathroom, and as I walk in, you know how the stalls, the walls don't go all the way down to the floor, right? Mm-hmm. There's like that yes. gap. As I turn the corner, all I see is a butthole and a set of nuts. Oh shit! And some dude was in there, squatted down like as far as he almost his nuts were literally almost <laughs> touching the floor and he's sitting there dabbing his butthole with the toilet paper and i'm like what the like the f- does this guy not realize that we can see anybody it. could yeah. see what he is doing you know what i mean like and he was just like dip, 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 dabbing his butthole with his Twiggle berry yeah. swinging it on the floor you know and i'm like holy oh, i i just turned around and you didn't out. investigate no you didn't ask him. Damn it, Jason. <laughs> We're like, excuse me, sir. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> excuse just, me, my good sir. You have to say it like that. Yeah. Like if, if, what did may you I have ask? To, he, he wasn't over the toilet. He was his, the way he was positioned, he was, his backside was turned away from the toilet. So I'm like, what are you? May I, I, I ask why that asshole is out? <laughs> is this some <laughs> special new way to wipe your butt that we don't know about? Oh, you know, yeah, I was like, I good day, sir. But it was just, it was kind of funny. As you turn the corner, walk, you're, you're just greeted with a butthole and a set of nuts. You could have you know done, what I mean? done I the You might never see this kind of shit. John hey, asked, you ever like, see this kind of stuff? John asked like three times <laughs> where this was. Nah, it seems like he's interested in going there. No, it's just, 
it's just fun to see like a you know to have a story where you say hey this happened but Dude, I, I walked out <laughs> I went straight to my wife and I'm like babe when there's, there's a guy that's gonna walk out of the bathroom with some white New Balance shoes his butthole <laughs> The balls were out the air. <laughs> you knew how to investigate, so you stood around <laughs> washing your hands for a while. This is Jason. <laughs> <laughs> you won't believe it. Uh, if I could uh, if I could have got my phone out fast enough, I probably would have took a picture. Uh, sending it to all his coworkers. <laughs> yeah. You won't believe He'd what probably you sent it to us. I would have. I would have yeah, sent it to us. Have you ever seen anything like that again? Just don't send it to me. Send it to Maya. And don't, then don't oh, send it. Yeah, don't send it to him. Sorry. Send it to Craig. Sorry. <laughs> You know what? Yes, that's okay. Challenge accepted. I'm going to send it to you. Okay. I'm, it's cool. I never open your messages. Anymore. I know. Really? No. It's fucked up. But I don't open anybody's Does that message. surprise you? Nah, he doesn't even answer his own damn phone. Yeah. I, I, so I does do. that surprise you? I do answer my but phone. But you know what? I don't take it personal. So. That's good. Because I apologize before I even did it. Yeah. I said, hey, but Jason. He, you but know he doesn't what? give I'm, a shit. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. He said sorry, but, it's not, but he doesn't care. He's not personal. It's just. I don't like. I don't know. It's weird. I, I'm busy doing other stuff. Like I don't. I don't pay attention to my own account. Like anything. flying planes. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah, flying planes. I haven't flown a plane in a while because I almost puked last time. John, that was uh, that was incriminating, by the way. Why? Because we rented this Airbnb. Uh, there's a camera right there. Yeah. This yeah, just can uh, edit it out. I'm not adding. Not gonna I'm going to add more smoke to it. If anything, he's going to send it to the <laughs> yeah. to the owner of this BM. It's visual Airbnb. effects. But but if they do charge Leo, I'll say no. This is just special effects. Which it is. There's really no smoke. <laughs> <laughs> well, yep. you'll take it out of his paycheck. Yes, he'll okay. definitely pay for it. Yeah, he's fucking blowing smoke all over the place. I'm going to fucking fill this shit up with smoke. Just oh. the, like this part right here, just going to be just smoke everywhere. You're what's, just incriminating yourself. What's the worst vape you've ever had? Uh, cranberry soda. That shit was ass. Dude, he's he had that answer. Like he's he's been he's been he's carrying been that wanting. answer with him, hoping and praying that somebody asks him that question. You just made his fucking year. Thanks, are, Jason. Are, so are there <laughs> with like vape liquids, is there like varying degrees of and spot quality? The place, huh? Um Fuck. Yeah, just that. there are also varying degrees of nicotine and the ones that he gets have like none. None? Yeah, he's just smoking. He's vaping candy. It's candy. This is the son of a hater. No. Uh, I've never vaped, so I don't know. That's it's candy. Vape. You know how we were no. talking about... Do you vape? No, I'm okay. Okay. You know how we were I'll talking... I'll smoke a cigar like a man. Thank you. You know how we were talking about if you say a word long enough, like it becomes funny? Stare at John long enough. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just fucking hilarious. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm sure it would happen with me or with Craig, but... <laughs> <laughs> it just happened so fast. <laughs> Man, I wish Chad was out here. Uh, oh my god. Chad doesn't even like it. Dude. That was a mistake. What's Chad that? Chad is an enigma. Chad is amazing. You, you have no <laughs> idea how amazing Chad is. I don't know if I'll we'll ever get over that look I, of him just popping out from behind that curtain yesterday. Yeah, yeah th this story's gonna funny. be gone, but I might reshare it. Um but it's great. I'll see if I can show it to the camera. Just, yeah. It's, oh. yeah, anyway, yeah, it's probably not going to work. Yeah, I'll show it to you. Go pop it on the screen right here. He's just playing with his beard and mustache and just kind of like. <laughs> I'll reenact it. So here, here we go. Here we go. I'll reenact it. Mm, I got a mustache and no. I'm bored already. No, 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 no. He wipes it with his nose. No, no. That was great. That kind of looks like something you would do. Just yeah. after prom, Post. just after prom night. Ooh, wiping the wiping the seafood palace out of your. <laughs> John didn't go to prom. Out of out of what? <laughs> seafood platter. Out See of, if you can stare at John for. Did you just say out of your beard because. <laughs> you know, yeah. I was um, dude, look at that! There. Look at that fucking hair right there. <laughs> Thank That's fucking long, that. man. <laughs> oh wait. It was brought to you oh, by Top Shot. Get the fucking camera out of my face. That's a, that's Wait, a long ass hair. Oh, and I, want, I want you to see this. Have you ever seen Aladdin who shoes? Who that's who what his that? hair looks like. You do you know, have the, that one the, hair, right? Is it Aladdin? There, that's going on my straight edge. Straight edge nice Instagram. Yeah, I'm working on that. I'm going to post that. It cool. looks like those uh, fucking tribal botas. Remember the tribal botas? Oh, yeah. The absolutely. tribal boots. That's what his hair looks like. You have one? 
No. Do you do you have an analogy no. of what his hair looks like? No. Come on, Craig. I can't even You're see no it fucking from here. Look at it. It's there's no. You, I don't see it. Use my analogy. It's it's so thin that I can't see it from here. How thin is it, Craig? As thin as the rest of his beard. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious, actually. Good job. Well. <laughs> well, it's been it's been a good night. Fuck John's, you, Craig. John's ready to. Yeah, end well, it. I think I'm ready to end it too. I want to take a shower and go to sleep. Oh, you're done, huh? Yes, I am. Can I see that? Hey, Jason, you want to? Can you see that? How close does it need to be to your face? Yeah, that is long. What's that fucking black ball on his chin? Okay, thank you for listening to today's <laughs> podcast. Oh, it's the microphone. Oh my hey, god. Hey, so Jason's gonna uh, yep. give us a send out here. Uh, we're gonna yep. end with him saying something. Yep. Wise and. Would you leave the fucking buns you alone? Your dick jerk. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Jason, those are, those are wise words, but can you say something else? John gets a boner every time he hears that. Damn it, John stops touching the buns. Jerk, Good Lord. Okay. All right, man. Hey, thank you all for listening to Top State of the Grand Podcast. Oh, shit. <laughs> we enjoyed having you here. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay safe, stay sharp. And don't forget to follow Top State of the Grand on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, Everywhere. Snapchat, True Social, True Social, Rumble, Rumble. We're on Rumble. We oh, are on oh, Rumble. Rumble. Oh, Rumble. Rumble. Rumble still. Okay. Rumble. All right. Peace. Good night. And if you want your dick jerked, just let me know.